Rivers are the lifeblood of our landscape. They support life from source to sea, bringing fresh water to the mouths of many. The River Taff has been vital to Cardiff and everyone who has lived here since the first settlers came nearly 6,000 years ago. It stretches the entire length of South Wales, from the mountain springs in the Banabrachinog to Cardiff Bay and out to sea. The influence of the Taff can be seen in our local place names, from streets, shops, bars and restaurants, all taking inspiration from our river. And it's not just a home for people, but an abundance of nature also relies on the River Taff. From spectacular river flies to the majestic otter. Kingfishers perch along the banks while mallards, swans and grebes feed beneath the surface. So much biodiversity relies on our river, a delicate web of life that we are all a part of, humans included. No matter our age, our background or our upbringing, we are drawn to rivers. The soothing sound of the river burbling over the rocks, the rhythmic pattern of the flowing water, all help to calm the mind. We come to rivers for exercise, for fun and to relax. Uh, okay, my name is Melissa Boothman and I am the owner and founder of the Secret Garden Cafe, Butte Park. The, the business that I run um, is situated right next to the river. And my commute to work every single day is with the river, uh, morning and night. And also throughout the year I then see the river in its different phases of the seasons and I get to observe the different communities that use it within those seasons and how they use it. I think water is our lifeblood, whether that is the sea or fresh water, um, lakes. And historically, communities are drawn to and made up in areas where there is water. So fundamentally, the answer is yes, water does create community. And it's, I think it's interesting What's interesting now is how do we, in this day and age, how do we connect with water, especially rivers. Um, I feel like we've gone backwards in terms of being able to connect with rivers because of the pollution. The river shapes our landscape, our community and us as individuals. But we also shape it. And right now, we are failing our TAF. We have come a long way since the poisoning of the taff by coal and heavy metals. But now the river faces a new threat, pollution from sewage. Over 9,500 hours of sewage was pumped into the taff in 2022 from combined sewage outflows. And the latest data suggests this is only getting worse. And it's not just sewage, but plastics and pesticides are making their way into our river, creating a chemical cocktail that's poisoning our wildlife. This disrupts the delicate balance of biodiversity, which will make its way up the food chain and directly to us. Outbreaks of disease are commonplace now, and this will only continue to get worse as we treat our rivers like an open sewer. Yeah, my name's Alex and I'm the Wilder Engagement Officer with the Wildlife Trust of South and West Wales. So as those pollutants get into the river and um, we start to see the impacts directly up the food chain, so starting at the bottom, um, we have the invertebrates, the river flies, the um, leeches, the snails, things like that are all highly sensitive to chemical pollutants, so things like nitrates, phosphates, but also these neonicotinoids. Um, so they'll be um, affecting the population levels um, at that base layer and then that will impact um, the different trophic levels as well. So that will work its way up the food chain, impacting the fish, which in turn impacts the birds that predate the fish, and things like otters as well, so our apex predators on the river, so that have knock-on effects. I'd really like to see that change. I think we're at a point where we can change things for the better, it's not too late. Um, we have, you know, seen a huge decline 
on the river taff from salmonids, so things like our salmon, but also trout species and other fish species, have really declined um, over the past 150 years. Um, but there is still time to turn that around. Um, it's going to take a lot of local action, it's going to take a lot of community involvement, but it's also going to take a lot of different people from across the UK, all the communities of the UK, to really come and shout to our politicians, hey, enough is enough, and we want to reverse this decline. We believe that it's our duty to protect our rivers for future generations and for the wildlife that calls the Taff home. That's why the Stand for Nature Forum have come together to build the Save Our Taff campaign. Our goal is simple, to raise awareness about the river pollution issues here in Cardiff and bring an end to the pollution of our waterways. We have teamed up with local groups to sample the river water of the Taff to assess its quality. We will be organising events to tackle this problem head on through direct action like litter picks and through raising awareness about this issue in our local communities. But we need your help. So I think there's a lot that we can do and a lot that we can do on a community level but also a lot that we can do on a government, on a local authorities level and a government level. I think it'd be incredible to get a uh, bathing status on the River Taff. So if we, as a community, that's a community level thing that we can work towards, we could aim to get that status. And straight away, as soon as you get bathing status on a river, you bring back a little bit of ownership to that community of that river. That river becomes the river of the people. And within that status as well, there's certain protections that the river will then gain, um, which maintains those safe standards of swimming. We need you to raise your voices and spread the word about river pollution. Let our politicians know just how much we care. Fill out the public questionnaire and add your voices and concerns to the growing community of people calling for cleaner rivers. Visit our website and find out about the work being done and about how you can get involved. And share this video on social media. Only together can we stop pollution from entering our rivers. Only together can we fight for a healthier, cleaner, more biodiverse future. Only together can we save our tap. Save our tap. And save our tap. Save, save our tap. Save our tap. Save our tap.